Hey guys, it's Brendan Borman back for a 270 video, trying out for the very first time Benjamin Franklin. Looks like John McCain and I are going to clash on turn number one in Big Conservative. I had a feeling that he would go Big Conservative because of his Kelly Ann Conway vice president. And so what I'm going to do is spend zero dollars on turn number two and just see what my opponent will do. Will they be pot committed to that national group bonus? Or will he pivot to something else? He did spend the full 300k in big conservative and I zero spent, which means I can still go past him in turn number two. I have no intentions of doing so. I'm going to go ahead and zero spend. Benjamin Franklin does have a 25% high tech bonus, 10% manufacturing, 25% swing state, and doesn't have that many um, penalties. He is a well-rounded candidate, and it looks like that my zero spend will pay off for one turn, as my opponent does waste a hundred thousand extra dollars just to get a seventy-one thousand bonus. And so, really, I might try to force my opponent's hand and do that one more time, or he might come out in Texas swing states. He has options. But I'm going to let my opponent kind of dictate the rest of this um, beginning part of the match. He is going to defend in big conservative one more time. And so now I probably could do a zero spend one last time. But just in case, I'm going to open up in Texas, California, and New Mexico. I decided last second to also go in Illinois and Indiana for manufacturing, but in hindsight, that probably wasn't the smartest thing because I didn't do the math. And 200 plus 200 plus 30 plus 50 plus 50, I'm not going to have enough to do all of that. Um, and so I could prioritize. No, I can't. Um, I can't get the Latino bonus this turn. That was dumb. Um, I could get the ag and oil. Um, and the next turn get manufacturing, or I think what I'm gonna do is just get the manufacturing bonus this turn, and then on turn number seven, I could go ahead and move up in California and get the remaining bonuses. My opponent is gonna go up in evangelicals, I'm gonna skip my turn and Let's see. Okay, go up in California, spend my uh, manufacturing money. And I really didn't have a plan for this. Um, you know, usually you come into a game and you don't expect to have such a big lead in cash. Now, that will quickly change the longer this game goes as John McCain and Kellyanne Con Conway can roll that bonus. I am eyeing that swing state bonus, however. Waiting a long time on this timer. Okay. So there are the three bonuses. Still um, not facing any pressure. Going to open up in some key states like Florida, Pennsylvania, and New York. New York's going to be huge. And now it's just a matter of seeing what is McCain going to do. You have to imagine he's going to chase me somewhere, most likely Texas or California. Could be Florida and North Carolina, though. Okay, so it's California. He did double tap. And, okay, that's interesting, North Carolina. That doesn't really correlate well with California. But it's turn number nine. These one-minute timers, they don't give you a whole lot of time to think. So definitely a unique game. Um, I want to spend up in some states, possibly get that town and gown and swing state bonus. Um, where else? Should I go for North Carolina? No, I think I'm going to do Virginia. 
It's uncontested at the time's sake. Um, two seconds. Okay, shoot. I wasted 114,000 of oil. Um, hopefully, I don't get overtaken in California this turn. Not very smart on my part. Unfortunately, I do lose the um, oil bonus and the Latino bonus. Turn number 10. I've already wasted half the time. I haven't done anything, so I can't get the oil bonus this turn, unfortunately. I can open up and get some of this old South and African American states. Kind of pressure. Um, California is long gone. And I didn't have enough in the beginning to go um, two pips into New York. And so that takes that off the table. I do save some cash. I can do that next turn. No bonuses. He did double tap in Texas. Do I go up in New York or do I defend? I think that I can probably go without defending this turn. Very unlikely that he does steal North Carolina. And if I open up in Oklahoma with um, Louisiana, that will give me the chance to get oil next turn. So we do reach the end. Okay, so my opponent did just go small um, in North Carolina, most likely 42.5. Hmm. So I'm going to finish um, to the third pip on some states, including Maryland, Georgia. I'll give you the Old South bonus. Right now I have um, seven of the state bonuses. However, my opponent does have two national groups in California, but has yet to expand upon that. So let's see what happens in Texas. Yet we did have a huge clash in Texas. So McCain went all in. We blocked him. And now we're sitting on all of these bonuses. I'm just going to go ahead and quick tap into these states. Um, obviously, it will not force a ballot because we do not have 100 EVs locked in. But it does help, especially in a one-minute timer, to use um, every turn that you can to maximize your funds and your opportunity. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And as we wind up turn number 13, the clock hit zero. And my opponent did zero spend. And the clock's not running, and so that should signal that it's a forfeit. Just going to have to stand pat and make sure. I did miss a few of the northeastern states. However... I did come really close. And that will do it. He did forfeit. So anyway, that was Benjamin Franklin. Make sure, guys, when you are playing that you do not overprotect your national groups. And until next time, this is Brendan Borman saying thank you for tuning to the channel. Like and subscribe if you want more 270 videos. And until next time, deuces, juices.